Welcome to June's tip. My name is Jess, your life and transition coach. Now, this month is kind of juicy. It's going to be focused on saboteurs. And it's because of you guys filling out those surveys. So thank you to you for completing that survey. This is tailoring it to everything that you are looking for. So keep those feedback thingies coming, I guess. But anyways, listen. This month, though, we're focusing on saboteurs, and I have a bit of a tip for you. I do want you to be fully understanding that this isn't the be-all, end-all of a tip. If you want to get more support and conversations going and more tips throughout the month, I'm going to highly recommend that you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Your Inner Vitality, where we can continue this conversation there as well, because this is just going to be the start. It's almost more like a bit of a challenge for you, okay? So that's my disclaimer, that's my disclosure. Let's get down and dirty, shall we? Okay, so saboteurs, hate to break it to you, they're here to stay. Yeah, you can't really get rid of them. And in fact, the more that you push them away, the more that they're gonna probably come back at you. And You may have one, you may have a whole Calvary um, with you as well. So here's the thing. Saboteurs come from our deep ingrained childhood, but they also come from like our ancestry where, you know, we go into the negative bias. It's, It's scientifically proven that, you know, it's our way of keeping ourselves safe, fight or flight, right? And your saboteur is that person that when you are about to go out of that comfort zone, that bubble of yours, it's like, hey, you're about to step out of that circle, man. Like, that I can't protect you with. That means change. That means something new. And I am not, I'm not accustomed to that. I don't like that. I don't want to change. But we both know that between you and me, change is inevitable. And we are in the thick of change everywhere in the world right now. So here's a bit of my challenge for you this month is I'd like for you to intentionally throughout your day, I want you to think and feel and understand when your saboteurs come out so that you can figure out a one, what triggers your saboteur to come out to play? Triggers are really, really important. Then the next one, number two, is how do you respond to that trigger? And there's three kind of ways that I would say that you may automatically respond and you may not even know which one or you may actually respond in all three ways. And this is where I want you to be intentional with your day is I want you to feel when you see or experience a trigger what your body responds with so that your awareness is going to allow you to help with the rewiring process. But if you don't know what you're rewiring, it's not going to stick. It's not going to stay. It's not going to allow you to work in partnership with that saboteur and make empowered decisions. Your saboteur is going to be in the driver's seat, right? Okay. Are you with me on that one so far? So you got a trigger that comes up throughout your day. I want you to create that awareness of how you respond here in one of three ways. Number one, it's gonna be the emotions. What stirs that bucket? Is it anger? It's usually your negative emotions, Um, insecurity, fear, upset, feeling of incompetency, inferior, um, not enough, you know, those kind of things. Number two is going to be about your physical state. What do you feel inside your body? Maybe your hands go tingly or your tongue goes numb or your chest gets heavy. You go shortness in breath, your blurred vision. You may get forgetful. Those are your physical responses. The third one is the mental inner dialogue. What are you saying to yourself at that time? Who do you think you are? I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I'm not that. 
You know, people are going to find out you're a fake, you're a phony. It's an imposture syndrome. All of those things that you say to yourself. Now, you could have all three of those um, responses, or you may just have one or two. But here's what I'm asking you to do this month. I want you to intentionally go out in your day to create awareness of what triggers any of those three buckets. And what is it that comes up for you? You may actually be surprised and you may think it's one bucket, but then when something happens, you may actually come out of something different. With that newfound awareness, what I'd love for you to do is about the rewiring component is the idea to take it to the next level is eventually to pause when you're in that moment, take a breath and redirect your decision. So don't respond, pause. And then in that pause, you can choose whether you actually need to respond to it. And if you do, how do you want to show up with that response? Where you're coming from more of a power of choice than going into autopilot and just having your body automatically, subconsciously or unconsciously respond. So the challenge is creating awareness. If you can take it to that second level, awesome. But this month, I'll be here to support you as you go through that newfound awareness. And I'd love to see where you go with it and how I can help you with that. Until then, be curious, be yourself, and be true.